Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I will explain how you can design a push-pull converter circuit. Push-pull topology basically comes under DC to DC conversion. So why we use push-pull converter? In case of practical designs, isolated power supplies are more preferable than normal DC DC converters because it provides isolation between input and output. There are many topologies that are used for isolated power supplies like flyback converter, forward converter, push-pull converter and etc. So today we focused on push-pull converters and we will design this circuit for buck operation that means step down operation. So this is the push-pull circuit you can see on the screen. Here basically two mode of operation takes place with two power switches and two linear transformers are used here for step up or step down the voltage as well as provide isolation. Here the switches will on or triggered redundantly. So in the first mode of operation switch Q1 will on and switch Q2 will off. You can understand from the dot convention how the voltage polarity will be generated across the secondary of the transformer and positive voltage is applied to the anode of the diode and hence it is forward biased and the voltage is reflected in the output. In the second mode of operation switch Q2 will on and Q1 will off and at this time diode D2 will forward biased and the voltage is extracted from the secondary of the transformer. So before starting with the model design, we have to assume that what is our output voltage, output power, output current should be. So for this, some calculations are taken into considerations. Here you can see the input voltage is 100 volt and we are assuming that our output voltage should be 20 volt and switching frequency we are taking as 20 kilohertz and duty cycle is 0.45. And transformer trans ratio we, we are getting 0.22 now assume the output power as 200 watt then our output current will be 10 amps and our load resistance is 2 ohm so considering inductor ripple current as 5% of the load current the inductor value will be 200 micro henry and considering the output voltage ripple is the 1% of output voltage uh, then we are getting the capacitance value as 78.12 microfarad. So this is the little bit of calculations you have to do for this design. Now let's start with the model design and put the values.
so now run the simulations and check the output voltage waveforms So you can see from the output waveform that our output voltage is constant at 20 volt and the output current is 10 amps. So we are getting approximately 200 watt output. And here it is the gate signals which is redundant to each other. You can observe from the gate pulses that in a total time period in between two switchings here a turn of time for both the switches. This is called dead time. It is basically used for safety purposes that if in an instant of time two switches are on then the supply is short circuited. So that is why the dead time is taken into a consideration. So I think it is clear for you that how you can design a push-pull topology for DC to DC conversion. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And for latest video update, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.